Okay, and we are back another day. Another day. Okay, so we're going to start today with um, going through some headlines and <clears throat> seeing what's going on in the gaming world. That's how we're going to start this. Um, first, we're going to look at some indie titles because I think it's sort of a underserved um, market of activity. Everyone pays so much attention to like the Starfields coming out and the Baldur's Gate and all that and you know there's some interesting stuff going on with the smaller creators so I want to give them some uh, some time here. First title is this indie game is attempting to perfect the Sims formula by asking for 10,000 fans for feedback. I actually just recently heard a rant on uh, the whole Sims thing. So I guess they kind of have a they have a corner on the whole like Sims market. And they've basically been milking it like a cash cow since I guess Sim since the early Sims and it's just progressively gotten worse. I think now with Sims 4, it's basically like a lot of the features from Sims 3 you can't even do. And everything is just put into little teeny cash shop purchase packs. So it's kind of like, from what I heard, it's the worst examples of... Where are all the lights off? Who are you talking about? I'm streaming, my guy. Why are all the lights off? Dude? I don't know. Like a cave rat. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want to come in here? I'm branching about Sims right now. If you want to. Yeah, I'm just doing the news. I'm doing the news segment first, and then uh, yeah, I'm doing the nice stream room, bud. I know, right? I put it together, my guy. No, you didn't. I'm sure, I did. I'm connected. I'm cabled. Yeah, I wish go. it was wireless, actually. Yeah. Here we go. So, what I was talking about is uh. Indie games attempting to perfect the Sims formula by asking for uh, 10,000 fans feedback. So basically, to give you some background, because I know you're not a Sims guy. Right? Really? Could I, did, I did not see you being a Sims guy. And I wasn't a Sims guy either, but I just recently listened to like pretty diehard Sims fans. Like, oh God. cries, cries about the whole Sims universe. Because basically what's happened is, since Sims 2, it really turned into like a cash cow where they're basically just we're milking sims for money yeah. right mm -hmm. so it started out with like literally sims 3 has all this different stuff it's in probably, it yeah, that, you can, that you can't even do in sims 4 now right so they've literally like taken away a bunch of features mm -hmm. like different kinds of pets and stuff for instance like you could have horses and ducks and all these other things in sims 3 and now sims 4 the only thing you have is like cats and dogs Right, and they've literally itemized and cash shopped everything to the point where each feature is something you just buy. I guess, dude, we should copy their model. Maybe we make some money. <laughs> anyway, maybe so, we make some money. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> what I'm getting at that would be perfect. They're like literally. I guess they're literally selling packs. Like you can pay like a dollar or like five bucks or whatever, and it'll give you like a hat and a couple of dyed shirts or something. There's, there's all these little packs, and basically the whole game is just cash shop items now, and that's all it is. Why is everybody like selling shirts? Like as if we need more shirts. Like everybody goes to Walmart, dude. No, it's in Sims. Oh my God. Dude. Oh, in the in, in the, the fucking game. In the game. The whole game is buying little items. Imagine imagine all of Guild Wars is just literally paying a dollar for each transmog item. That'd be sweet, man. Yeah. Not how okay. easy it'd be to like get everything. Okay. Spend like a hundred a hundred bucks and you have Imagine they you release want. Imagine they release Guild Wars three, they remove mounts, they remove World V World. Well, I don't care. Remove... I think mounts ruin the game, but Okay, okay, sure. Okay. Well anyway, so let's get back to the <laughs> news title. Okay. So the this little sim world is an indie 2D open world game. 
uh, draws inspiration from The Sims. And uh, yeah, it's trying to do this old unique art style, reminiscent of the 2000s Nintendo. Unlike Life Sims, Little Sim World takes place in London. So it's got like an actual setting. Anyway, it's trying to get like a bunch of like feedback. Why would you zoom that in? I'm an old man, I can't see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there we go. Dude, that's a little more like it. Okay. So yeah, they're trying to get like feedback from all these people. And wow. to, uh, because the Sims also literally has a total monopoly on the Sims market. Wait, they're only getting 10,000 people? Well, I don't That's know. such a small amount of their player base. Like, how many people play the game? No, this is an indie company trying to make competition for Sims. Oh. Are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the point I is... Think, I think it's not me. I'm not the problem. It's you explaining what's going on. That's the problem. Okay, so Sims has a complete corner monopoly on the market. It was like back when World of Warcraft was like the only God, mainstream MMO. Such a great, great anyway, <laughs> yeah. Literally, think of what happened with World of Warcraft, where they like destroyed their whole thing. And us. Yeah, and oh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what's been going on with the Sims world. Anyway, we're moving on. Okay. Chance of Sonar. Is that how you pronounce that? Two A's. Sonar. Sonar. Okay. Anyway, is 2023's most surprising indie game that was lost and found in translation. That's quite the title. Not going to lie. They got um, some, some high quality writers there. Sounds like ChatGPT wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> I'm looking for the articles I was looking for indie articles okay are you sure you didn't load up a little chat GPT this morning no no, no did, not, did not make these up they are it's literally on uh, the inverse gaming section there's all like here we go the uh, the first one was games radar and the second one was inverse. I should probably say where the, where these articles are found. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay. Chance anyway, so chance it's a it's a puzzle game, indie puzzle game, immersed in the world, understanding languages as the core mechanic. Is it like our languages, like a learning thing, or is it more? Is it like a made up language? Anyway, as the indie game... Sounds boring. At the start, of, it's a puzzle game. I know, it sounds boring. It sounds like something you should play on your phone, yeah. But, okay, players are confronted with the door lever symbols, unlocks the door. So what is it, like Zelda, like you do the puzzles? I mean, that's what it seems like. Okay. So you do, uh... Do you have, like, a picture? Do we have a picture? A picture says a thousand words, you know? Yeah, but they don't get a picture. No, they're, they're just getting our. They're getting no, our I'm reaction. No, I'm saying a picture for us. These... I don't care about them. I'm talking about <laughs> us. It's like I need it. Okay, I'll open up the OG article instead of just looking at. Here we go. Okay. Yup. Oh God. You know what? I didn't want to look at the picture. God damn, that's sexy. Actually, I mean that's kind of fun. I mean, I could see this being on a phone. Okay, so they're like. This looks like some game students made it. Indie Studios, my guy. Um, you know what we need to do? We just need to create the next uh, Among Us. Is that so? Because that was. But like the a Among team. Us was out for f years until literally it like, randomly got picked up. It's it's the boom boom phenomenon all over again. It was yeah, literally out for do. forever. That's what we do. And then all create, of a sudden, it became popular. We created Among Us like that. How many people made Among Us? Right. Okay, they link the symbols between languages, blah, yeah, so it's basically a Rosetta Stone. It sounds like an Egypt puzzle symbol game. That's cool. I mean, if you like puzzles, go check it out, I guess. Yeah, it was 2018. Okay. So, um, the, the viral indie game, Only Up, was delisted from streaming. Really? It was delisted. It was why? taken off. Booted. Um, let's see why. Uh, blah 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 game popularity with Twitch streamers, but it was delisted from stream Okay, so it was delisted because it was promoting NFTs because 
Can people stop <laughs> the NFT thing? Like, no one gives a so, shit. Just stop with the NFT. Like, what? Dude, who? Dude. What crack are you smoking you know, where you think so NFTs are even going to... I can't even. I could go on a rant for like a thousand hours about NFTs. No, but you guys this, make everybody else no, no. To, into jokes because you bring up NFTs. It's like, <laughs> we're like, okay, yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear it. NFT. Okay. God damn it. We lost them. No, but <laughs> we lost but see, them again. But see, like, look, these guys were literally getting a viral. It was a viral game. It was flying. Like, Twitch streamers were all loving it and playing the game. And then they. Do you want to get some NFTs and promoting NFTs? Do you want to hear what the issue with NFTs is? I'll tell you in like a couple sentences and everybody will understand this. Mm. Let's say I had $10 million, right? Okay. And what I do is I buy $10 million worth of Ethereum. Oh boy. The cryptocurrency. Yep. And then what I do is I make an NFT based upon those $10 million, right? What I do then is that I then go reasonable. and buy the NFT from myself for $10 million worth of Ethereum. Okay. Now the NFT I have is worth $10 million, okay? Uh -huh. But I still have $10 million worth of Ethereum. See, the thing now is you go and sell that $10 million NFT mm. for $5 million. Yes. And you still have $10 million of Ethereum. That is the problem with nfts okay i literally like barely listened to anything did you did you, even, did, did you understand do you understand no, i get it it's so like, it's like it's like, like, like a, a, it's like it's like a box and you've pumped it full of value from another coin and now you're yeah it's, it's like it's like putting a stock on on a, it's like making a stock right like you uh, you ipo a company right okay. and you buy your own stock for like five hundred dollars a share right all of a sudden all of your shares go up to like five hundred dollars a when share i was writing right? the itinerary for today i did not think we were doing an nft segment well this is spontaneous <laughs> this is the problem with the world okay mm -hmm. so we have so like let's say you issue a hundred thousand worth of sh stock right and none have been bought yet how much no. money did you lose in nfts I haven't lost anything because I've never <laughs> ever partake or partook in an NFT. I have never bought an NFT. Tell okay. me, tell me you bought NFTs so that tell me you bought NFTs. No, I have not bought an NFT ever. <laughs> Dude, I would never <laughs> buy an NFT. It's the most. It's like the biggest joke there is. Oh, okay. Oh God. You're not hearing the point. I hear the point. It there's like you're just like setting the value for yourself. I know. It's fine. It, That's like me yes. coming in with a with a paper clip. I'm like this paper. Dude, I know. Remember we, when we were in GDC, ninety percent of the talks were basically NFTs I and know. like trying to help indie gamers get into NFTs and it looks like these guys are a victim. Well what happens is is they get promised all this money. Right, mm. and the problem is, is that nobody has money right now, okay, except for the big corporations. So the problem is, is that you have indie gamers that need money, right, to what keep working. What do they mean by infringing assets? Sorry, continue. Infringing? I, I have no idea. I mean, that's pretty, I mean, a game that's pretty assets? broad. Game assets? That's pretty I assume broad. they mean game assets. So okay. they have broke indie gamers, right, mm. trying to make their way into the gaming world. Right, mm -hmm. and then you have this big company that's like, "Hey, we have something called an NFT, and you can make millions of dollars off of it. Just put it in your game, and we'll use our blockchain." Um, and then you're a victim. Well, yeah, that's because the dream of it was to like, oh, it's a unique piece of art that now I'm buying. So yeah, like, like technically, if like if you were in World of Warcraft, right, mm -hmm. and you're like the you first person thunder on, fury. yeah you get thunder fury right the thunder that becomes an nft and then you can show that nft off it's and like, then imagine you buy the nft and then that nft transfers thunder fury you know like okay so right that's what they're talking about yeah, it as right but you know you know like paintings like actual legit paintings the oil paintings there's oil paintings and there's the prints right mm -hmm. so like that's I think that that's what they were trying to do with NFTs for digital art is make the original, the like the actual brush stroked art piece. Dude, you know what's the most meme thing to me? And I oh. know somebody's a loser instantly. Oh. It was when their like Discord or their profile picture is an NFT. Like that's an instant like, dude, this guy gets zero ass. 
Okay. Like, that's exactly what it is. It's like instantly you just know. This guy has lived in his basement <laughs> this since guy. the dawn of time. His mom is still making him craft macaroni and cheese, okay? And I'm not mm. talking for dinner. I'm talking for lunch and dinner. <laughs> no, okay. that's breakfast. Craft mac and cheese for breakfast. No, he's having cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast, okay? <laughs> he's still got the cereal, okay? okay? And he's still looking for the toy inside. <laughs> okay. That's we, his next let's NFT. Get, let's get back to the only That's thing. his next NFT. It's I am the toy in the box. I am re-railing this train, okay? Dude, that's the next NFT, though. Think about it. You could, like, well, mm. what's going to be in there today? Pull the toy out of the cereal <laughs> box, right? You're like, whoa! Dude, take a snap of photo, dude. Dude, okay, do you remember those toys, though, in the toy box? I know, they were awesome. <laughs> do they even do that anymore? Yeah, they do. They do. They do? I've seen a few of them, but it's like... It's the you shitty have to specifically cereal. buy the really sugared out cereal. Yeah, it's the shitty cereal yeah. that does that. I, I rarely see it, though. Usually they have, like, something that'll say it on the outside, though. Yeah. Okay, cool. And usually they're lower down where the kids are in the store. Yeah. So the kids, like, are supposed to see it. Yeah, they're they going to see it, it right? They're, they're supposed to secretly drop it in the cart. Yeah, basically. Or they're supposed to cry about it until the mom says it's okay. Mm. So, like, what I'm reading here is only up was also it's like a, it was a solo developer that did it, and um, it was a solo developer that made it, and it was their first experience making a game yeah. and acknowledged that they made mistakes during the publishing because like that does get confusing when you start like actually publishing the game. Well, if there's he's a, a solo busy, guy, there's a bunch of people that are going to be work. approaching him that are going to be trying to take from him. Well, I also think it's not just that he was promoting NFTs. He was probably told that he should promote NFTs for money, but I think this infringing game assets, he probably downloaded a bunch of shit from the game stores and stuff and didn't credit them in the credits and all this stuff. Because even if you license it, you have to like credit in like the credits. What? Yeah. That's terrible. Well, so it's like if, so I, if buy... I buy a car from you, I still have to like go and tell you where the car was like from every single time I like drive up to no, you. No, it's just in the credit page. That's why the credit pages are two billion years long. But that's like kind of dumb. Like that's the point. It of just depends. It asset, depends on the license. Right? It depends on the license, and that's why when you license things, because they when I sell you something, when I when I make a game asset and I sell it to you, uh -huh. you have to read what I actually wrote as my licensing agreement. Maybe I, if you if I'm some guy making these game assets, uh -huh. and then all these games use my game assets, maybe I want my name in the credits. You know, so it's like you just have to read okay, so, what that is. Who actually reads the credits, first of all? No, but... but just, so, yeah. that's the first thing. So Other game like, developers. <laughs> that's it. No one cares about it. I understand. Credits, dude. But like, that's, no one reads that's where you get into trouble. It's just copyright stuff, probably. But it, how is it copyright if you're paying for it? I don't know. If the license agreement... If the agreement is to put the thing in the credits, and then you don't That's do a it, terrible agreement. Anybody that signs that that's, agreement that's is like... That's why you should read it. That's terrible. That's why you should read things before you buy it. Look at the that's licensing. That's predatory. Why is it that... Look at the licensing. There's so many game developers that are so, like, egotistical about their work. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like... Okay, yeah, somebody's made a vase before, okay? Okay, come on. Let's see. <sighs> that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I, all I can say is, is like read the licensing agreements. I mean, it's just setting yourself up to get whatever. Infringing assets. Yeah, I mean, he could have also just been. He could have also been using assets without even buying them. You know, he could have been like poaching them from games. Mm -hmm. You know, and stuff like that too. Counterfeited products. Yeah. Yeah. So he could have also been like just illegally downloading assets. Or, or he, like, I don't know, maybe... What assets, though? Like game they assets. Show? Yeah, have they, like, shown? Yeah, uh, like, uh, that's a pretty broad claim. Well, like, I'm just looking at the article. I know, that's just pretty broad, you know? Like, it's like, okay. Here we go. Here. Is there an example? So, here, you probably... 
These are probably things in other people's thing, and they just grabbed them somewhere. Mm. Which again, I don't know. Um, I hate that these articles will say like, "Oh, he's infringing assets." Oh, I'm promoting. But, but you don't know. Exactly but you never what ever they're... see like. Yeah, you don't know. Exactly they don't like show they you, and then so it's just like he. It's he hearsay. Said, she said. Yeah, you know, it becomes hearsay. Yeah. It's like, and also it could just be maybe he w did use the assets fine, but they thought he wasn't, and it was yeah, just no, a they could fest. be they could be wrong, and then yep. now they've sold like now they've made this. And like you said, it's just like literally, it's this guy making this small indie game, and I guarantee you, if he didn't blow up, if he didn't like get popularity, no one would care. Yeah. All right. It's the fact that his game went viral. Right. Yeah, and some guy made the little, yeah. probably the little bench that's in the corner, right? And he's like, wait, that's my bench. And he's very mad. Yeah, so none of this and would he have thinks mattered. he deserves 90% of the revenue. I mean, I don't think, I didn't know that Steam was delisting. Is Steam, like, really anti-NFT? I don't know. I mean, I, he made the decision to delist it. Not Steam. Was it? Yeah. Oh, His wait. games. The game developer, blah, 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 made the decision to remove the game. Yeah. So he removed it himself. That puts such a different spin on this. I thought he was thrown off the platform. No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why he was... He did it. He's so he probably was, threatened with legal... Um, yeah, he was threatened with legal action. Probably got like a cease and desist thing. Yeah. And then he delisted it. Wow. Okay. I mean, he'll be fine. He'll just re-release the thing without those assets. Yeah. And, like, he'll fix it. And, like, honestly, at that point, the people that were in there, like, what they should have done is just been like, hey, look, this is my thing. Can you just put me in the credits? Like, that's actually the smart move. Um, or, you know, maybe just ask for a payment. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to sue him, the guy's just going to take it down. Yeah. Well, then also it's kind of like... That's weird. So I thought, like... Okay, so I un di didn't understand that delisting the game. I thought, I thought that meant Steam delisted it. Well, technically, Steam did delist it. I thought it meant like Steam manu like forcibly delisted it. Yeah, technically, he delisted okay. That's it different. himself. He clicked the button, and then Steam took it down for him. That's different. Players control the character named Jackie. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Damn, two hundred eighty thousand concurrent views on Twitch. That's not even that much, though, man. I mean, five million views in two months. Yeah, I mean, it's not that. It's not that much. Okay, moving on. But ugly Starfield Starfield ship defeats enemies' AIs. Perfect aim. Okay. Well, that's cool. In. In Gadget. That's cool. Oh, what is this butt ugly ship? Do we get to look at the butt ugly ship? Let's see here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. So what he did here, what he did here was he made that ship model, and the AI shoots at the ship, and, and it goes through the ship. That's funny. That's actually kind of funny. So genius. <laughs> right? That's pretty good. Can we get the thing up on here? Here. Let's let's switch it over to like the cam thing. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, there we go. You see this like ship design? So that's that's what happened. And I guess the AI is targeting like the center mass of the thing. And yeah, just shoots right through. That that guy gets props, like mad respect. <laughs> Did he intentionally do it? I guess. Here, let's go back to the thing. Because um, it kind of looks like he just made a Lego ship. Yeah, yeah. But right, let's see here. Is there a video of that? Um, is there? Let me look. Oh, okay. there is a video. Look at that. We don't have to play other people's videos. Okay. Wow, so much ladders. Gotcha. Come on. Do we get to see it actually get shot at? Okay, this is a boring video. I'm not subjecting you guys to it. 
Anyway, so uh, player known as Morphalath. Morphalath. Oh, it's a nice name. There you go. There's your credit. Don't infringe me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, calling it the unbeatable ship. Um, even the vessel's quote unquote stomach is entirely missing. I don't know, this is Starfield slang that I do not understand yet. Stomach? Yeah, I guess like maybe the hull they're calling it the stomach? Mm. I don't know. Despite prior claims, Xbox exclusive Starfield would be the least buggy game launched in Bafuda's history. Players have encountered various amusing glitches. Yeah, I know. Literally they're like, we're releasing thousands of planets, but it's not buggy, we swear guys. Anyway. Uh, da, da, do, do, do. Cyberpunk was a real shit show, wasn't it? Cyberpunk. They're, they're, uh, they're referencing Cyberpunk as like another buggy ass game. Yeah, it was pretty buggy. Yeah. Okay, Baldur's Gate 3. Spoilers ahead, actually. But uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is, uh, has a secret, brutal, over game over scene for players that somehow overcome every safeguard and permanently lose a critical item so like there's a big brain monster that's trying to brainwash people spoilers and uh you get these little stone shards that you add together to uh control the monster right so obviously i guess if you go through and you somehow if you throw the items into a chest and put that chest into another chest and then you throw that into the ocean or whatever and like destroy the item like destroy the thing then you get this instantly get this unique um scene that's you messed up big time and basically it teleports you to the brain turns you into a mind flare zombie and you get a game over which is kind of cool that it actually does trigger the game over instead of your game just being broken yeah because i could see like see i would have expected the game that to have just been like a game breaking bug and then all of a sudden it's like oh no i can't complete the game or the game like acted like you still had the items or whatever you know i would have expected that much more than this so i don't know it's fun i'm gonna do it later today actually yeah yeah, I'm gonna see what it's like. How many hours have you clocked now, dude? Four, it's, it's less. It's less than three hundred. There's no way. It's less than three hundred. I would put literally ten thousand dollars on it's more than three hundred. That's it. Ten thousand dollars right now. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's three hundred and one hours. No, it's not. Wait, what? <laughs> no fucking way. What? Dude, it was three hundred and one. I know, that's what I was saying. Because I looked at, okay, so last night when I went to bed, it just said 200 and uh, 90 something. So, so I was you like, did 10 hours last night? Have you slept? 90 something. <laughs> no. Have you slept? That's bullshit. So I saw it as I went to bed. I was like, literally saw, oh, 290 so something. So I, was paycheck, like, buddy. so I was like, damn, I got Hayden right there. And it. I don't lose my bets, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I never okay. take a bet I'm I'm going to lose. <laughs> Gosh. That's pretty damn You got to show that on screen. You got to show it. No. <laughs> who, who said LOL? Oh, is it Will did? <laughs> Will said. Yeah, is it Will? <laughs> Will, is that you? Yeah, W. Sandish. That's fucking No one else got that hilarious. last name. Oh, 10 grand, Basil. <laughs> Damn. Dude. One hour. That's all it took. 
<laughs> Dude, that's such crap. Literally, last night I was looking at the thing after I played, because I only played a few hours last night. Oh. I did. Come on, does that not, like, make you fucking br laugh, though? That, no, that was funny. That's why I was laughing. That, that could have That was, like... No, that was perfect. <laughs> the fact that it was 301 hour was... Mwah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, well, that ends this segment. Hey, uh... So, Will, I'm going to try something here. And you're going to sit there and stay on and not leave the page, okay? Are you done with all this? Yeah, well, we're... now we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to AFK yeah, BRB. section, and then we're going to, I'm going to update the stream.